everybody. How you doing? What's going on, guys? Welcome to episode two of Bootleg Gamer Nation. We, we made it to two. That's right. We made it to two. How about that? <laughs> and we've got a little bit of a format this time, so bear with us. We're going to see how this works. What's the format, my friend? What's the format? Oh, God. If it works, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> if it works, we're good. Um, we are going to... Um, be needing some. We've got a few ideas, but we want to see what you guys want as far as categories. Um, yeah, I've got a few lined up, but we're doing this for you guys, so we really want to see what you want to see. So give us a little feedback on that too. Um, we're still having a little problems with getting the podcast put out onto. Uh, a, a, a site so we can get an RSS feed, but we're working all that out. Yeah, anybody got any technical knowledge they can help? Look, we're, we can't. We're, we're trying. <laughs> we're trying. It, it looks like we're going to have to go and, and and pay for it. Um, if we were doing this in an audio format where you guys couldn't see us, it wouldn't be a problem. Um, but for some reason... The audio or it's that video. crazy video. It's yeah. that crazy newfangled video. They don't know what's going on with it. Well, I think it just takes up more space. Um, so they don't want to give that out for free, you know. So, but we're gonna get it worked out. Eventually, you guys will see us on iTunes. You may be watching us from iTunes. Um, if you are, we've already worked all this out. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> oh. So, All right. On to the news. This is news I found from around the web. There may be more news, there may be less, but this is the stuff I found interesting. All right. So we got Memoir 44. I don't know if anybody's ever played. It's a good game. It's a World War II game. It's based on cards and little chips. Have you ever played? I've never played. I was listening to a podcast uh, yesterday while I was doing a tattoo, and they were mentioning Memoir 44. Mm -hmm. They've got plenty of expansions, and, and right now they're having an expansions that's called Tiger in the Snow and Operation Market Garden. They were talking about that one. Oh, all right, and these are expansions with the maps. So you'll be able to play in, in Market Garden. What's that, Brazil? Not Brazil. But Brazil. Oh, my God. Belgium. <laughs> or somewhere on the Eastern Front. Yeah, really. We're Americans. We're not, uh, I, we're not I, supposed to know I geography. know my geography. Oh, Christ. <laughs> that's when they were fighting World War II in South America. Hey, that's what maps are for. You can oh. open it up and go, yeah, right. there it is. It's my fault is I grew up without the maps. Remember, I grew up <laughs> without the maps, like that beauty queen said. All right. Uh, the second thing is Wings of War is coming out with another box set. We've played Wings of War, the World War II edition. This is going to be a supplement. They're going to have more planes, more rules, so that'll be fun. I and love that. It's going to come out in June 2009. And another thing, Z-Man games. I like them. I have a few of their games. Do you have any Z-Man games? I don't think so. They're they're cutesy little games. They're they're fun. They're not real big things, but they're fun. They're coming out with something called. Uh, bridge troll and it's basically everybody plays a troll and you have to eat other things and build the biggest prettiest bridge uh, <laughs> now for uh, like uh, 40k news because I play a little 40k I play a little Warhammer uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Warhammer the role playing game a little bit but 40k stuff the Imperial Guard stuff is on its way the pre-orders are ready you can pre-order the book you can pre-order the command squad, you can pre-order the battle forces, you can pre-order the commissar, and you can pre-order the regimental advisors. Go to their website, Game, Des Game Workshop's website, and go and buy that stuff if you want it. Have they uh, put a date on the uh, airplane? The not yet. Valkyrie? As far as I know, I think not that's yet. what it's called? They might have. I just didn't find it when I was tooling around. But as far as I know... That's the only thing from the Imperial Guard that I'm really interested in. I think I might get them. I normally play uh, uh, Xenos characters, so it might actually be nice to play these guys. And I like to paint uh, the tanks and stuff, so I might actually pick them up. What I think I'm going to do with it is turn it into an orc. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Into a orc, grab the stuff. And yeah. yeah. Very cool, man. All right, Talisman's coming out with a dungeon, another dungeon. Ooh. Talisman has the base set came out. Uh, from Fantasy Fight Games, it used to be a game designer's workshop, I think, is the yeah. game designer's workshop? Black Library, maybe Yeah, Black Library, and then they discontinued it, and then Fantasy Flight picked it up, and then they had one expansion called The Reaper that we actually played, and we're going to talk about that later, 
an episode or few down. And now they're coming out with a dungeon expansion where you can tool around a little dungeon. Instead of, will we... I don't know if it's an addition to, I don't know if you can get to the Chrono Command with it, or just get better treasure. Maybe a spot on the board takes you to it or something. I think so, but it's going to have its own little map, so it'll be fun. And Games Workshop has also announced that there's no grand tournaments for 2009, so if you played any tournaments, you're not playing them this year. Don't know why they said... You ever done any tournaments? I have not. Have you? No. I'm not really that kind of fighty tournament thing kind of guy. If if somebody has, tell us about it. We'll put you on. If somebody wants to come in and talk about it, that's fantastic because I haven't. Normally when I play, uh, I'm, I'm kind of the oddball. I, I remember playing Rogue Trader, and they had a lot more stuff about the stories. I like to play with a, a campaign and a story plot when I play. I don't just like to play roll the dice, let's get a mission, and let's beat each other up. I, that's not my shtick. How about you? I'm not big on the tournaments just for the fact that GW, is, they want you to buy more products. So, like when it was Necromunda, you had five different weapons. Uh, there was more than that, but you had could have five different weapons for your guy. Mm-hmm. So that meant you had to have five guys with each one different having a different weapon and do that with all your people. Uh, you know, you, what you see is what you get. WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get. That, to me, is just a way for them to make more money. Now, granted, it is nice to be able to look at the model and say, okay, he's holding this, that's what he's got. I realize that there's a point to it. But the game is already expensive enough. <clears throat> I think a lot of times what they're doing is GW. As as much as I like them, I don't think if I was a kid nowadays I could play oh, because I they, we they're, could. Price, they're pricing themselves out of the market. I mean, if I wanted to buy a tank or something now, it's forty, fifty bucks. Right. Yeah, like, uh, well, well, that's why we got into Necromunda when we did. It, well, it was cheaper. Yeah, I originally, could, we could afford it. Originally, forty k. Again, the first edition in in Rogue Trader was it was small combat. It was small unit combat, and now when you look at yeah, squad based combat. And now you look at freaking Armageddon, five thousand, six thousand points, and man, they've gone a long, long ways. I mean, I love the game. Don't get me wrong. It's just I, it's greed. I, I, I can't think of it any other way. I guess I, I, I guess from my point of view, there's a lot of. All right, look, I'll, I'll boil it down. I'm a snob when it comes to painting your stuff. I like to see a painted army play because there's a lot, well, there's a lot better war games out there. There's a lot better games, in my opinion, out there. You play games, workshop stuff, because you want to play miniatures game. And if you want miniatures, you got to have the miniatures, you got to have them painted. And that stuff's expensive. That's yeah, not it takes cheap. a lot of time. It takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of effort. Yeah. It's why I don't like going to like our local game store. Most of the guys in there, they're either gray or black. They might have, out of 50 guys, 10 of them might be partially painted, one or two fully painted. And some people don't like to paint it, God bless. It's just me being a snob. I don't know if it's... I, it it know. looks better. Yeah, it, it I does. mean, that's not the point. You know, the point's to have fun. But it just looks so much because, better. Because you're playing a miniatures game. You're playing a miniatures game. If I want to play a different game, I'll play with chits or cardboard pieces or whatever, plastic pieces. If I play with miniatures, I'm going to have the darn things painted, either by myself or by someone else or whatever. I'm going to have these things done. Yeah, see, that's another one. A lot. That's the biggest sponsors. <laughs> Well, yeah, I, one of our sponsors is a is a is a painting company. A fine quality establishment. <laughs> Go look at them. Good people. But it, it, it's the hobby, you know. It, so what? You can't paint all that great, you know. It, nobody's grading you on it. Well, I guess they address do. Your, some of them. Yes, that's true. Address your emails, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dale at Bootleg <laughs> Nation. Boot, what's our email again? Uh, bootleg Gamer Nation. Bootleg um, Gamer Nation. At AT and T. Dot net. There you go. It's all, all the flaming flame emails. Mess. Yeah, all the flaming emails you can send them to me. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I just it, it don't have to be painted to a a, a golden demon's quality. It just you know. Well, I tell you what. If I had if I didn't have time, I'd probably get them painted. If I didn't have the time, or if I was like wasted, I'd get them painted. But because well, I, I like was rich. Paint stuff. If I was rich, yeah, I'd, uh, you know, have one of each army and, you know. I ain't going that far. 
Uh, I mean, yeah. And some of the companies out there.